hey guys welcome back to my channel on today's video we're going to be creating these super cute flag banners i saw these on instagram from my friend becky she had given to one of her pen pals and i just had to recreate and include in my series because they're super cute and super easy and you guys already know easy quick ready to go projects is what i like and I think these are super fun to make for the holidays. So of course we are going to make one together and you guys are gonna see how simple this is. And hopefully when this video is over, you guys can go and make your own. So yeah, you guys, these are the ones that I've made so far. I had this cute one right here with the little truck. I actually got this die. I'm not sure if I hauled it already in a haul, but um, I think I did. But I got this die at Michael's and I love the truck. I'm really loving the whole tree on the truck trend. It's just amazing. I love it. It's so cute, so festive. So I made this one. I got this cute little Christmas Santa one here. Just very festive also. I did this one right here with a little mitten garland. A little magical, the little piece of wood with a snowflake embedded on it. And then this one, of course, which is more extremely traditional. And um, yeah, you guys, and these little things up here are straws. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need. So all you really need is, of course, some ephemera pieces, um, maybe some doilies if you want to use doilies. You're going to need a straw of any color that you would like. And then you're going to need a page flag template that looks like this. And I will be having that link down below for you guys to print out or you can do it by hand either way this is what we're going to be using today to create our page flag together put that down right here and then of course you're going to need some twine to hold up your little banner so we're working first with our little banner to decorate i'm going to put two doilies because i love to layer so of course, I'm going to use my glue gun just to work a little bit faster. And we're going to place that right on top. And then you're going to grab your red doily. Add some glue to that. And you're going to place that right above, as you can see. That looks so cute against the plaid. I love it. Now, I've already picked out the little ephemera pieces that I want. I want to place these little trees right in the middle. But first, I want to make sure that my straw is going to go right here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to glue down the trees. Place them right here. And then I'm going to have like, well, maybe I should put it right here above the trees because I will be having my straw. And what you want to do is you just want to measure how, where you're going to have to cut. See, I see exactly where I'm going to have to cut and just cut the straw. See, I made my little fold and just cut the straw right where... You're going to need to place your straw right there. See? And then what we're going to do is we're going to glue the straw. Add some glue. Super easy, you guys, but extremely cute. Look at that. See how that is turning out? Isn't that super cute, you guys? So now we're going to add the little Merry Christmas. I think I'm going to put it all the way in the top. What do you guys think? Should I put it like that? Or should I place it over the trees? Hmm. Maybe I should place it over the trees because I can also add one second.
I think I'm gonna add, being that there's trees and stuff, we're gonna add little bits of snow. So I will be adding it there over the trees. Okay. So we're gonna place it right here where the trees are like sticking out. And then we're just gonna put little bits of snow to make it look cute. Just in little random places, you can put little pieces of snow. You guys, it's the little touches on projects that make a world of a difference. Always remember that. Look at that. Doesn't that look cute, you guys? I love it. You can put one all the way up here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our twine. So, let's see. Oh, doesn't need to be that long. So, something around like this size. And if you need to cut, you just cut. So then what I do is I just run it through the straw so it comes out on the other end. And then I just tie a knot. I might have made this one a little too short, but we're gonna go with it. So you tie a little knot, but then you put the knot inside the straw. So you run it through like that. And yeah, I definitely did this one too short, but it's okay, we're gonna go with it. You see that, you guys? And that is how it looks. You just want to make your little banner thingy a little... That's going to bother me. See what OCD does to you? It bothers you. It's going to bother me, so I can't leave it like that. We're going to run it again. Because I want it to look cute. Okay, now this is much better. Much better, you guys. And then you could like double knot it. And then what you do is you put that part that you, the, um, the knot and stuff, there you go, you see? Much better. Look at that. Wasn't that super easy, you guys? And if you guys use like white paper, you can ink the edges. There's endless things that you can do. But how cute and fun is this? So yeah, you guys, thank you guys for joining me today on Jingle Lil's episode, this is episode, I get confused, um, episode 8. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for another haul and then probably another craft with me video. But, um, yeah, you guys, don't forget to thumbs up. That helps me so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.